following the city's regular budget meeting, the Bakersfield Police Department ad addressed the increasing number of vehicles versus pedestrian crashes. BPD officials say they've been looking for solutions on this matter and have one promising idea in mind. With more on this, here's 23 ABC's Ruby Rivera, who joins us in studio. Ruby. That's right, Mark. According to the Bakersfield Police Department, there has been a significant increase in pedestrian versus vehicle collisions, with 45 reported deadly crashes involving 24 pedestrians in 2020 to 65 reported deadly crashes involving 33 pedestrians in 2022. BPD saying they are already thinking of ways to resolve this issue. What are your thoughts on a community service officer program? We are right now researching and developing, looking at what other agencies are doing and developing uh, what a position like that might look like. Bakersfield Police Department Chief Greg Terry says BPD is starting to look into hiring retired annuitants. According to the National Security Administration, a retired annuitant is defined as a former participant in a public retirement system who is rehired by the same employer or by a different public employer that maintains positions under the same retirement system. Chief Terry says the system will work in joint with current officers to help those officers focus on other things. To bring in a retired annuitant back into uh, the department to utilize for the red flag the traffic citations, so that the officers that are doing that right now can go back into the field and continue the type of work that traffic officers do. During the meeting, Councilman Andre Gonzalez mentioned that Bakersfield was about 100 officers below average as compared to the top 20 cities in the state. Chief Terry says there are about 49 vacancies right now and says the lack of officers contributes greatly to lack of enforcement in the city. It was determined that speeding, running red lights, pedestrians voluntarily walking into roadways, and drivers who are under the influence were the four main factors in these accidents. Chief Terry saying citations can be given out to temporarily combat this issue, but the lack of officers makes it harder to handle. He says adding those retired workers could be the key to significantly decreasing those numbers. Certainly speeding uh, is something that uh, is that we monitor across the city and certainly respond to a lot of different types of complaints. And we can certainly impact that through citations, but uh, it is occurring much more frequently than we have the resources to do. Chief Terry says they recognize that a lot of the pedestrians being hit are homeless. He says aside from trying to recruit retired annuitants, BPD is also working with Kern Behavioral Health to engage with these individuals to contact and deliver services to them. In studio, Ruby Rivera, 23 ABC News, connecting you. Ruby, thanks so much. And speaking of mental health, Bakersfield Police also sharing during its budget presentation how they're implementing new ways of handling emergency calls from the public. We have an in-depth look at one of those ways, which is helping better address the mental health needs of the community. The Bakersfield Police Chief said their new mental health call diversion program, which began last year, has been very successful. The program allows emergency calls which center around mental health issues be diverted to a specialized clinician from Kern Behavioral Health. Last year, 590 calls, or 79% of all calls, were successfully handled by a health clinician. And just recently in March, they handled almost 90% of the more than 200 calls diverted to them. Currently, BPD has two clinicians handling these calls. They would eventually like to increase the total number of clinicians to five.